Okay, this is the candy exercise that I gave um, my drawing to students. And what you're supposed to do is grab a piece of candy that I provided, and you're going to draw it using Prismacolor pencils. And for this exercise, we're gonna be using some toned paper. And I encouraged everyone, if you have a cell phone, take a picture of your candy, so, you know, just in case it moves, because obviously this is not gonna be get done within the hour of the class time. And um, if you don't have a camera, just hold on to your candy, try to position it exactly the same space that you had before. And I already took a picture of the candy, I printed it off so you guys can see what I'm looking at from down here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace out my proportions with this and you guys can go ahead and start into the Prismacolor pencils. So um, with Prismacolor pencils, I really want you guys to focus on layering your colors. And what I mean by that is, um, like I have this pink section right here on in my candy. I'm not gonna just find a pink pencil and I go, oh, this section's pink right here and just use only this pencil. When I look at the colors of this candy, there's a lot of shifts happen happening. So I have some really more lighter areas right over here um, where I can use a white of a pencil to make it that kind of pastel-y color. And then it kind of shifts into these more uh, purpley pinks. So what I'm gonna do when I'm starting um, into this, let's see, let me lighten up a little bit of my line work here. Let's see, maybe I'll start with this purple pencil here. And again, I'm not just shading it purple. I'm just doing a light shade, and that doesn't quite look like the color that I'm looking for. And I'm saying to myself, what other colors do I see happening in this space? I see more pinks with this purple. So I'm gonna start layering some pinks in here. And maybe I'll come back with this purple pencil, this time maybe pushing a little bit harder. Let's see, my gut wants to, let's try this kind of peachy, warmy peachy yellow color to go with this trying to get that color that I'm looking for. And then there's a shift. I have a highlight that's starting to happen. My advice always to students is to avoid white and black as much as possible, unless the subject you're working on is actually black or actually white. I will be using some white in this for these bright highlights that are happening that I want to bring out. Like I probably can go ahead and with this white pencil and put in that highlight right there right? Um, or any other areas that have that pastel -y area, that pastel -y white area. When you use white onto something, it makes it really pastel -y. So again, I'm just kind of layering until I get that color and value that I'm looking for. Oh, there's the bell. That means I better hurry this video up here in about five minutes. I'm gonna be slowly developing this candy here. Um, and I'm making this candy a little bit bigger than what, you know, uh, you guys have to do at least a one-to-one -one ratio or a little bit bigger, you know. But let's see, I need some nicer, darker reds happening here. Probably gonna add some purples or, you know, let's just kind of push that depth a little bit. I never use black when I'm working with this kind of stuff, um, unless I just need that last punch of much darker. Anyway, we're starting to get a little bit of form. We got our highlight, we got our shadow. And please pay attention to those things. You know, you got your cast shadows, you have this beautiful reflected light happening here. Here you have your highlight. Um, think about those things as you're drawing. Where are your half tones? Let's see, I'm just gonna pull out some more highlights. Anyways, I'll probably put this part um, to a stop and I'll work on this a little bit and then we'll just come back to it.